Good morning. What are you doing here so early? I'm going over my notes before my meeting. I didn't have a meeting in my calendar for today. It's because it doesn't involve you. It's a potential client. Really? Who is it? I'd rather not say. I don't want to jinx myself. But if all goes well, we'll have a new client to our ever-growing roster. Can I help with anything? I don't need help. How was your weekend? I thought about calling you, but I don't have your number and you don't have mine. Oh yeah, you're right. Would you like it? Yeah, I guess. Give me a phone. So I can put it in. I can get it later. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you okay? Yeah. I thought... What? Never mind. When are you backing up? Whenever I'm done. Why? Just curious. Yes? Are you done? Just have to get back to work, okay? Reports. Reports. Oh, yes. Some are completed. Some are. Some. You know this is unacceptable. I need a meeting with everyone in 10 minutes. A meeting in 10 minutes? Yes, Kat. Oh, goodness. Hello, Chastity. Where's the others? They're right behind me. Why this emergency meeting though? Please be patient. Be patient for? Have a seat, and once everyone else arrives, I'll let you know. I would appreciate me planning this meeting accordingly. To whom? My schedule. I was on my way out of the door. Once the meeting is over, you are more than welcome to leave. Julian? I didn't see an agenda for the meeting. Is that on purpose? Yes. Is she called? Hello, everyone. Chadwick, you can remain seated like everyone else. I decided to call this meeting to get an assessment on you all's progress while I was away. I was able to complete the task you assigned me. I recall assigning it to you and Alora. I know, but I pretty much did all the work myself. It was no problem. You never know when Alora may or may not show up. Good for you, Chastity. It's good to see you took initiative. I actually assigned Alora to another project that she was handling. But for future references, never try to throw another team member under the bus. It's not about taking personal clout. It's about getting the job done and getting it done right. Listen, this is a job. Leave your vendettas and personal rivalries at the door. When I assign a task, I want it completed, and I want the results. That's it. Do I make myself clear here? Do I make myself clear here? Yes. Well, good. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Moving ahead. Julian, I want to commend you on those clock media deals that you've made for us. Each of you need to take notice. If you want to impress me, sign and secure us high profile, profitable clients. Thanks for stabbing for it. I was just doing my job. I'm so glad that your bro referred you to this division. Hmm. 
Before I relieve you all, I would like some, you to meet someone. Uh, Chloe. Hello, everyone. This is Chloe, my personal assistant. She'll be interning here through the summer. I want her to shadow each and every one of you so she can learn the ropes. Welcome, Chloe. I'll be preparing a workspace for you. You can see the next to Julian. And I can show you around if you'd like. Of course. I'd like that very much. Well, that looks like that's it for now. I have some catching up to do here. But you all remain available. Just in case I need some one-on-one -on -one time with any of you. Chloe, uh, Kat sent me here to help you with your tasks today. Hey, Chloe. Nice to meet you. I'm Ian. So I'm guessing you're also an intern? That's right. Um, how long have you been interning here? Uh, long enough, honey. I gotta teach you how this place works. Have a seat. Thank you, and please, I really appreciate that. Let me tell you, these hawks are gonna make you their prey if you don't put them in their place. What is there to know? Well, first of all, you're working for the head bitch in charge, Kat. If you're good with her, you're golden. That's good to hear because her and I get along really well. But, sadly, there are other stubborn bitches, like Chastity. She's the most bitter person you'll ever meet. Her twin brother, Chadwick, is even more worse than her to be around. But, he is sexy. She's cute. I guess that's why they always find a reason to be the center of attention. What for? Oh, sweet. You sure are, newbie. They eventually want to take over the entire company. They'll do anything and get rid of anyone who tries to outshine them. That's why Julian is such a threat. He's gotten more business for this industry than both of them combined. And he hasn't even been here that long. <laughs> I've met him, he seems really intelligent. Now, Jordan, he's Kat's assistant. He takes care of most of her business, so you'll work with him often. Is there anyone else I need to know about? Oh yes, Alora. She's cool. She actually owns her own business, so she's not really here as often as everyone else. But she's very professional, so don't play games with her. Oh, trust me, I'm just here to do my job and make Kat proud. Let's see. Oh. It's Barry. Mm -hmm. You're always on the good side. This is Davenport's husband. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for telling me this, Ian. I'm make sure to stay away from any drama. Please do. And if you need to be informed of anything else, just ask me and I'll have the answer for you. Thank you so much, Ian. Have a good day. Thank you. I think we should get started on our presentation. We should brainstorm, jot down some ideas, also strategize as we go along. Is that good for you? Yeah, I agree. This is a major contract. We have to be very meticulous. This client's extremely demanding. Well, if it weren't for your efforts, we wouldn't have landed this account. I saw you work your magic, and it was um, pretty impressive. You did. I knew you were watching my every move. Uh-oh. Don't get beside yourself. You know what, Chastity? And I hope you don't mind me saying this. Uh-oh. Shall I call security? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. I just wanted to say I'm actually really glad we're working on this together. You know, when I first heard your last name, I thought you were one of these silver spoon debutantes who, I don't know, never had to tie a shoe once in your life. Is that right? I'm sure my name did give you that impression, but you couldn't be further from the truth. Silver spoons, uh, I know all about them. I use them, wash them, I even use them for eating. <laughs> Seriously? So you were cooking and cleaning? <laughs> no way. I may be a debutante, but my parents didn't raise spoiled and entitled children. I come from a very proud Caribbean family. 
who emphasize the importance of education and hard work. I can relate to that. My father pushed me to my limit at every turn. Pressure that was on me to be the best student, the best athlete, it was insane. But it made me strong and into the man I am today. All the pressure made me strong too, but maybe too strong. Or strong enough for the right man, of course. I don't have time for men right, wrong, or otherwise. Really? Something tells me you've had plenty of time for the wrong ones, though. And something tells me you need to get back to work. Julian, so you had a chance to go out yet? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to hit the club scene. What do you know about it? Oh my gosh, so I know the owner. We can do bottles, tables, all that. It's so much fun. We should definitely go. Let's go. Next week, the one down the street, right? Yeah. I'm going to hold you to it. All right. Let's help me to do it. You can please excuse us. Please speak to Julian in private. Okay. How was your meeting this morning? It was fine. Just fine? Yes. What do you expect me to say? Something more than just fine. You went back and made towards me all day and you came and looked me in my face. I think it's all your imagination. I feel like you're projecting these feelings out to me. After last week, I thought we were more than just, you know. Jordan, this is our workplace. And I'd appreciate it if you treated it as such by being professional. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm just trying to help. I'd advise you not get attached because I'm not. Cat didn't put you in charge to muddy the waters. Don't act like this is all on me. You wanted me. What happened last week was just a moment. Listen, I'm sorry if you were going to get some feelings and get attached to her because I'm not. Wow. You're such a jerk. No, I'm a realist, and I suggest you be one too. No, what you are is an asshole. This conversation is over. Have a good day. Joining, can I see you in my office for a second? All right. Kat, do you need something? Well, did I not ask you for those supports earlier? And you never got back to me? I'm working on them. I'll have it to you by the end of the day. Now, you do know this is unacceptable. I'm sorry, I've been having a very busy day. I'm so sorry. I'm making a mess of everything. No need to keep apologizing. You seem extremely unorganized. What the hell is going on? Nothing. I have a lot going on. I have the report to see by the end of the day. I was not done. This seems like a lot for you. If this job is too much for you to do, let me know now. I left you in charge, but it seems like one of those reoccurrences where I was wrong. No, it's not the job. I told you I have a lot going on. I have a life besides this division. Excuse me? Chess, you need to talk. About what? Are you losing sight of what we're trying to accomplish here? Of course not. What is the problem? Every time I look up, you're flirting and playing footsie with that clown Julian. I would hardly call having a laugh or two with a colleague flirting or working on a major account together. A major account, I might add. There is nothing going on. Is that what you had me believe? Chess, I know you better than anyone. You like that punk? Listen, Chad, I've got this under control. I don't need you watching my every move. Just because you're older doesn't mean you get to run my life. I know a snake when I see one. If we're going to take over, we have to stay focused. I will not stand here 
and allow you to be distracted by some mediocre women. Listen. I'm not getting caught up. I have this under control. Instead of watching me, you need to watch your aunt. I'm over on top of that. I despise taking orders from some lackey. She's never here to properly delegate assignments because she's always in New York. Her favoritism of our pretend cousin is quite laughable. It's oh, really? What happened to Aunt Catherine is such a woman of caliber. She's self-made, blah, 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 blah. She is self-made. <laughs> yeah, but she makes herself available to any rich man who says hello. That treasure chest between her legs is filled to the brim with old fool's gold. <laughs> Unfortunately, Uncle Bear has been that old fool. One too many times. Aunt Catherine is just an old trophy that needs to be dusted off and put back in his rightful place. Now she has an assistant following us around. Like, how many do she need? A life? And from the looks of things, a very unorganized one. You and if you ever talk to me in that tone of voice again, I'll have you thrown out of here. I apologize, Kat. A lot of personal things going on. <laughs> I'm sure it's a man. Let me tell you something. When it comes to business, Personal matters are null and void. It's complicated. Why is that? Everything happens so fast. I have read it all. Jordan, you do know I enjoy you. And don't regret it. Learn from it. And ask yourself, is a man really worth your job? No. He's not worth anything at all. And if you're ever in doubt, use me as an example. I'm going through a damn divorce, and I hold my head up high and focus on my businesses still. That's what I admire about you. You have such an optimistic look on life. The show must go on, Jordan. Now get those reports for me. I need those at the end of the day before I leave. Let's go. Jordan, one more thing. If you ever... I mean, ever talk to me in that tone of voice again? You're fired. Yes, Kat. <laughs> well, since she's an assistant, she can assist in more ways than one. I like you going with that. We can occupy our time with my new tasks. It'd be like having our own personal slave <laughs> of some sort. We'll have her going around in circles trying to figure out where she left her dignity. <laughs> Alright, let's go to lunch. Oh, well, you're paying. Why do I have to pay? Because you're the older brother, remember? Great. I think we should go with what I suggested, Jess. I know what you're doing. You keep flashing that smile in the hopes that I'll back down. Nice try, but that doesn't work on me. And did you just call me Jazz? I sure did. It's your nickname, isn't it? Anyways, I'm pretty sure I have the upper hand because of my familiarity with this client. Yes, it is my nickname, but not everyone gets to use it. And as far as your upper hand goes, I'm not too sure that's the right move to make right now. I'm not just anyone, Chess. And listen, you have to trust me on this, okay? If anything goes wrong, I'll take the blame. And what if I say no? You don't want to say no. You drive a hard bargain, Mr. Maxwell, and you can back up now. What? Am I standing too close? And did not say back up. All right. Oh, perfect. Well, that sounds awesome. All right, well, I'll be in contact. Okay, can I have a word? You have a good day, okay? Thank you. Yes, yeah, Chadwick, how can I help you? Actually, a little note to self. Knocking before entering my room is always preferred. Is this how you usually conduct business? Excuse me, I have no time for your cries for attention. What exactly is your issue? I'm only accustomed to taking orders from a subordinate. I was under the impression that you were the point person of this division. Is that correct? Yes, you're correct. Perhaps the demands of this division are too much of an undertaking, considering your excessive absences. 
and seemingly impaired judgment. Chadwick, you and your sister are lucky that I spared you the embarrassment of doing cornrows and selling beads to the tourists on the beach. Your uncle recommended you all because he felt you would be an asset to this company. And he was correct. Was he? I would not stand here unless you become my hurt. Well, you can always go back and sit at your workstation or on the next plane to where you come from. I don't think Uncle Bear would be quite amused your mismanagement and incompetence. Maybe he and I should discuss that. Maybe we should discuss his impure judgment. Or better yet, these tantrums that you've been throwing lately. Hey, I have a question. Jordan. Jordan. Yes. I was trying to get your attention, but you're acting deaf. I'm sorry, Chastity. But I don't have time to be waiting around to throw rose petals at your feet. I have business to attend to. Um, okay. But I had a lot of questions about the new account. Weren't you just at the same meeting? There was time I lied for inquiries like that. Well, I wanted to be discreet. I didn't want the others. Oh. So you didn't want them to know that you're not as knowledgeable as you present yourself to be? Is that right? Absolutely not. You know what? I don't know what your problem is. But I'll find the information. You watch. Then you do that. Go do some work. You do the same. Chadwick, this is not gonna work. You'll never ruffle my feathers. I mean, really, what do you want from me? Nothing. But Uncle Bear and I were talking later on tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Chadwick. Your Uncle Barry never has and never will have control over me. Yes, I know that you've been doing research on me, but you need to tread very lightly because you have no idea what I'm capable of. Now run tell Uncle Barry that. Goodness. All the details just yet. I will let you know when I get home. I will let you know. Fine. I'll be home soon. Perfect. You're downstairs. Okay, I'll be there shortly. Ian, That's you are right. the intern at my husband hire, right? That's correct. Okay, well, I have some boxes in my office as well as in the sitting area. Do you think you can take your bed for me? Boxes? Cat, I don't know. That was part of my job description. It's actually Mrs. Davenport or Catherine to you. And I just assigned it to you, so yes, it is. Is that fine? Absolutely. All righty then. Sweetheart, don't, no, no, don't fucking sweetheart me. Yo, we need to talk. We need to talk right now. Crazy ass day, right? Long ass day. Man, you're talking to me. I'm ready to go home. How about you? Flip really handsome, though. Ian. Yes, Jordan. Don't you have some boxes in the movie? I was already instructed to do so by Cat. Good morning. Doesn't seem like it. What's up? You wanted to see me, right? Mrs. Davenport emailed me with some important tasks that need to be done by tonight. Tonight? Are you serious? I was just about to go home. She specifically noted that this needs to be done ASAP. Okay, these are time sensitive materials and she needs it overnighted or the time of a conference call, okay? Okay, let me see. Seriously? This could take hours. Don't kill me. I'm the messenger, so I'm just relaying the message. This is bullshit. 
Is everything okay? Jordan was just informing me on some late night assignment that I need to take care of. I'm just pissed because it's going to take hours. Well, I can help you if you'd like. You should take her up on that offer. Two heads are better than one. <laughs> Good night, Jordan. Well, let's get started. Yeah, you're right. Jordan needs to change his attitude. He might need to get laid. Now, why would you say that? <laughs> As you know, sex relieves tension, anger issues, bad attitudes. It does. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What do you mean, that's good to know? Have you never... No, I've never had sex. Wow. <laughs> you know, I think that's really admirable of you, you know, to wait until you're ready. Well, thanks for not making me feel weird because of it. Weird? A beautiful girl like you. Never. Well, thanks. Let's get to work. Uncle, uncle, uncle. How have you been? Chadwick, I'm fine. But you know I'm a busy man. I don't have time for small talk. So what do you have? I just wanted to say that while I am honored to be chosen as part of this elite team, I am forced to inform you about cast lack of proficiency. Chad, what's the issue? I don't have time to be guessing. For starters, she's consistently absent. I think she values her company over her obligations here at Davenport Industries. If the tasks are correctly allocated, the people do what they're asked to do. And her absence shouldn't be a problem. But I could see a situation where the division could suffer. That's right? my, my point. When she is not there, she has to take orders from, some, from her limp wristed flunky limp wristed <laughs> I know nowadays we have to be politically correct but I am not a supporter of this this LGQB bullshit and I know you don't support it either Jordan Jordan, Jordan is a pencil pushing nuisance I can't even imagine how you must feel about your own son. My own son is a brilliant businessman. And he and I have an understanding. <laughs> an understanding. Well, help me understand, Uncle. Why? Why have you spent your entire life ensuring that your son has everything he ever had that you didn't have when you was growing up? And that he repays you by bringing home a bride that has a beard and, and a penis. Chadwick. I mean, those, I mean, those, 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 we are Caribbean men. You know what they do to men like your girl back at home. You can't tell me a damn thing about being a man. You make your point. You know, you don't want this to be a continuation of your legacy. He is the face of the company. What does that really say about Davenport Industries? Well, at least he's a, he's a front about it. What's up front about what? His <laughs> sexual orientation. I will, okay, I'll give him credit. There's a lot of those so-called men out there that are on the, uh, on the low down, low down, low down, whatever it's called. They are the most filed. Still having relationships with women, while roping around with men, infecting everyone with a goddamn disease. Enough! It's I've heard enough of this. If you can't drug, control your alcohol, stop drinking. I didn't, I didn't mean to say I came down here to find out what's going on in my division. To protect my investment. You're wasting my time. Of course, this. Oh,